Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 we are working on module 2, lesson 19, and it's a bit of a mouthful. We are dividing 2 and 3 digit dividends by multiples of 10 with single digit quotients, and we are making connections to the written method. So we're going to do a little bit of the estimation work that we've done in the last couple of days, but we're going to do that in the context of the regular standard algorithm of division, which makes it a little more familiar to parents and guardians, um, and a little bit of familiar to students who remember this division from grade four. So let's take a look at a couple problems in tonight's homework. Problem number one. Problem number one asks us to divide and then check using multiplication. The first one's done for you. So before we get to get working with our problems, and I think I'm going to work on problem C today, um, let's take a look at the, what they did in problem A. All right? Let's see. They had 71 divided by 20, and they set it up in the regular standard algorithm, right? So they set up 71 here. That's our whole, and our divisor is 20. And then they went and, let's see, let's see if they can, I can think through their thinking. So they probably thought, how many groups of 20 would fit here into 71? And they probably thought, well, one group of 20 would certainly fit. Two groups, I bet they thought three groups of 20 would fit, right? Three groups of 20 would be 60. Oh, sure, there I see it, right? So they've got a quotient of three, three groups of 20. Let's see, three groups of 20 would mean that we've used up 60 uh, from our whole. Uh, once we do our subtraction, right, 71 minus 60 would give us 11, and we can't divide 20 into 11 anymore, so that's our remainder. So they would say that ah, our quotient is 3 with a remainder of 11. And then it looks like they checked their work, which is a really handy thing we can do about division. They multiplied their quotient times the divisor, so 3 times 20, or 20 times 3 is 60, and then they added in the remainder. So 60 plus the remainder of 11 is 71, and sure enough, you end up with 71, our whole that we originally started with. So I'm going to see if we can do the same work with 1c. So I'm going to set up our problem the same way that they did. I'm going to set that up with our whole of 95, and we are dividing by divisor of 60. Okay, let's see. Divisor of 60, let's see. So how many groups of 60 can we fit into 95? Well, we can definitely fit one in there, right? If we had one group of 60, that would use up 60 of this. But I don't think we can do two, right? Two groups of 60 would be, uh, let's see... 2 times 60 would be 120, 120, that's already bigger than 95. So I think we might be only able to fit one group in there. Let's see, if we had one group of 60, that would mean we've used up 60 of our 95 from our whole. And let's see, let's do that subtraction. So 5 minus 0 is 5, and 9 minus 6 is 3. So we can't, yeah, we can't do any more. I think we would say that our remainder is 35. But let's go ahead and check our work. So I'm going to do our little check over here. I'll do a little check on the side. Uh, let's see, we're going to multiply. Let's see, we're going to multiply our divisor by our quotient. So 60 times 1. Well, that's pretty simple. That's 60. And then we need to add back in our remainder. That's 35. So we'll say 60 plus 35 equals, let's see, that's 1. Five ones and be nine tens, so that's 95. Hey, sure enough, we ended up with our whole 95. 95. So I would say we've double checked that. I'm going to use the double check there. So we can do these problems if we're able to just sort of take our divisor and figure out about how many of those seem to fit into our whole. And then we can check our work here at the end in case we did something wrong. If we did something wrong, we can just try it again. Uh, maybe we uh, added too many groups or too few groups, and we can correct our math. It's a great thing about division is you can always check it with multiplication and, and check your errors. Let's take a look at a more complicated problem. This is, in some ways, a riddle as well as a word problem. So let's take a, let's take a read of it. Number two, a number divided by 40 has a quotient of 6 with a remainder of 16. Find the number. Oh, this is weird, right? All the parts, we always start with a whole, and it's like they're not showing us what the whole is. Well, you know what? I'm going to set this up like it was a regular problem. Let's see. Where would all these numbers go? Let's see. A number. I'm just going to say, hmm? right? There's my, I don't know what number is. A number is divided by 40. Okay, so the divisor is 40. Okay. Number is divided by 40 and has a quotient of 6. Oh, so that means the 6 must be up here, right? It has a quotient of 6 with a remainder of 16. Okay, let's see. Remainder of 16 find the number. Hmm. So this isn't, even though this is sort of set up like the standard algorithm, we're not actually doing the problem because it's like we already got the answer. 
So I'm thinking, huh, maybe we can use our checking process. Like when we do our checking process, we multiply these numbers and then add this number and then we get this number. And in this case, we actually really, really want to get this number because we don't know what it is. So let's see if we can try that. Let's do our check. I'm going to do a check off to the side. Let's see. So we multiply our quotient times our divisor. Let's see. That's, let's see, 40 times 6. So 4 tens times 6, that's going to be 24 of the 24 tens, 240. Let's see, 40 times 6 is 24 times 10, 240. Okay, great. And then I have to add in my remainder. So then we have 240 plus 16. Let's see, so we had 24 tens plus one more would be 25 tens. And then we just have six ones is 256. So now normally we would do this because we're, we're double checking, but that's not what we're doing in this case. We're actually trying to find the answer. So let's see if this works. I'm going to, instead of writing this, I'm going to say, well, let's say, let's say that's our answer, 256. Would that make sense? And we could actually continue to check this, our work here. We could say, let's see, if we had 256 here and we estimated that our divisor would be 40, let's see, 6 times 240 would be 2, I'm sorry, 6 times 40 would be 240. We would subtract that from here. Let's see, now we've got 6 minus 0 is 6. And 5 minus 4 is 1. And sure enough, that would end up being our remainder. Hey, that works out. I think we've got our answer, 256. We found it. We've solved our riddle. 256 is the hole that we were missing, that they didn't even give us in the problem. But we had enough other information that we could use our checking process to figure it out. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.